Um, but starting this next YouTube video off, looking into that money because we bring up, you know, we need to bring that that presence, that fear, you know, that a player with respect. You brought up Des Bryant, who who does have that respect, and I brought up, you know, bringing in wide receivers with that respect, but somebody that the Ravens could look into and have, uh, you know, I've been kind of rumored um, looking into is J.J. Watt. Is J.J. Watt the same player that he once was? No. But I swear, if you're a left tackle, if you're a right tackle, if you're a right guard, you're center, you're left guard, and you line up and you see J.J. Watt across from you, you may look to your left and be like, hey, man, can I get some help? Like, yeah. like this is J.J. Watt. I grew up watching this guy win defensive player of the year. Like, like that's a guy that commands respect. Matthew Judon doesn't do that. Yannick Ngakwe doesn't really do that. Calais is great, but he doesn't like command offensive lines and quarterbacks to be like, hey, you know, we got to mic up this guy. You know, who is this guy? No, we don't got that. Um, but JJ Watt is a guy that the Ravens could potentially bring in. Um, he got cut, which was pretty surprising that they didn't trade him. I guess there was no trade market or something for him, but I think JJ Watt would be a great signing. Um, especially if they got him for like a like a one year type of deal uh, maybe a two year type of deal because he is he is older he has had some injury history in recent yeah. years but like he he could be a great you know similar to like Jadavian Clowney's um, contract last year where it's like I think he got like a one million or one year 15 million dollar deal if they got that with JJ Watt I would be so happy because that's like the money they're paying Matthew Judon and Yannick Ngakwe on that franchise tag and also losing Matthew Judon gives the Ravens a third round comp pick, uh, which remember, if anybody remembers third round pick was sent to uh, Minnesota for Yannick. So that like cancels that out. But like overall JJ Watt would be such a big presence on that defensive line. And it would just help scare opposing quarterbacks because even when they're old, even when they're old, you know, you line up against, you know, last year, a guy like Drew Brees. Drew Brees wasn't very good last year. He couldn't throw, but you line up across Drew Brees, and you're like, man, I grew up watching Drew Brees. This guy's a monster. He's a He's a master. He's a yeah. It. Tom Brady. I mean, is Tom Brady the same quarterback he was in, in 2007 or even 2016? No. But he's still freaking Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to pay all your attention on that. You know, Big Ben. The Ravens go up against Big Ben. Is Big Ben the same guy? No, he's coming off of an injury. Like, he was not the same guy. But the Ravens are like, oh, crap, it's Big Ben. You know, we've seen what he's done. So, J.J. Watt's a guy that can command respect and help out that defensive line. Because with a J.J. Watt, who can play every spot on the D-line, um, that can help out Calais. Uh, that can help out J- Jalen Ferguson, Zach Daddy. Um, if the Ravens end up drafting somebody, you know, he's a guy that can really help bolster that defensive line and really help that pass rush and just bring a new presence. He's a physical player. He plays Ravens football. And I think any Ravens fan that's watched him would say he plays like a Raven. So he would be a great signing in my opinion. And he's somebody that I would be able to spend a lot of money for, but I wouldn't want it in like a big contract type of way where it's like a four year, 60 million. I wouldn't want that. If it was like a four year, 38 million maybe but i don't think that he would ever sign a contract that low so i think like a one-year two-year um deal would be really good kind of similar to what they signed calais to um they signed him a two-year extension um at like around 20 million if i'm remembering correctly so that's the type of thing that i would really like but joshua what are your thoughts on on jj watt possibly coming now we talked about it um even though yes um, the Ravens. We got a new, we got a newfound offense. We're putting up points on the board. We never imagined putting up points on the board. If uh, if you've been a Ravens fan for the past twenty six years, whatever the case may be. But you know, one thing, one thing about the Ravens, we're gonna always have a great defense. Now, let's talk about it. The addition of JJ Watt. No, he he won't get as many snaps. The reason I say he won't get as many snaps is because Wink Martindale has so many different interchangeable pieces so will we be able to keep will we be able to have them healthy for a whole season i think so if you have a healthy jj Watt for a whole 16 game season that's i can see us being that's another push to us going to the playoffs i mean how when it came down to it defense really was saving our asses so <laughs> if we being real about it 
Yeah. I mean, he's a and JJ Watt will be a bigger upgrade. Unfortunately, I mean JJ Watt is about thirty something. He he'll be he's be a bigger upgrade to someone at twenty five years old in the Matthew Judon. I'm sorry I had to say it, guys, but Matt Judon didn't really start showing flashes until there was another guy on the outside that was being guarded. I mean, he's a set cover. He's a set coverage and uh, edge rusher. I mean, hey, now I definitely. I now I would say, get Tyus Bob's back. Yeah, get Tyus Bob's back, and you put JJ Watt on the opposite side of him, between Tyus, between Jalen Ferguson. Uh, even if you find a way to get Jahi Ward on a minute on a on a on a vet minimum, and even Pernell, Pernell McPhee, just because you have JJ Watt on that opposite side, those guys are going to get to the quarterback. Yeah, also, you got to think about your interior alignment Calais, Brandon Williams, Metabuke, Washington. Front seven is something I feel like we'll. We showed that we could actually get to the quarterback. And with that addition with JJ Watt, him being what he him being who he is, because at the end of the day, yes, on the defensive side, as you get older, your technique and your skill is what shows out the best. The white Freeney is a true testament to that. Yeah, he played for Indianapolis for maybe about 10, 12 years. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then he went out to Arizona. Even in Arizona, Arizona in the oldest uh in the later stages of his career, he still can do the spin move. He still yeah. can do the spin move and, and create pressure on the quarterback. So with you know JJ Watt being 6'3, 6'4 on the outside, still having that robotic arm, <laughs> yeah. he still can put his body on a, uh or an interior offensive lineman. Or even a right tackle that doesn't have, you know, the best uh, foot speed and agility to uh, stay in front of him. So yeah. I definitely feel like it would be a it would be a it'd be a great addition. I mean, I'm not going to give away yet who I, I who I think the Ravens should draft as far as an edge rusher that will be a great addition to the JJ Watt addition. But also, not let's not forget, you do have Melvin Ingram, you do have Bud Dupree. Two guys, yeah. two guys that also can get at the quarterback as well. So if we don't if we lose out on the JJ Watt, you got you got a Melvin Ingram that you know he's in his later years, but he still can step in. He's still not a set the edge, but also you know Bud Dupree is coming off an injury. I feel like Bud Dupree would have something to prove, and you know coming to the rival, hey, why not? <laughs> yeah, um, and something you brought up about JJ Watt, you know. He is a veteran, but, you know, veterans can still get it done. I think a lot of people in in Baltimore will remember Terrell Suggs late in his career, 33, 34 years old. Does he get 15 sacks in a year? No. J.J.'s about 31 years old right now, Mm -hmm. but Terrell Suggs always had one thing. He had that clutch gene. Um, He had a strip sack, I believe, against Andy Dalton uh, in, like, week 17 one year. Like, late in his career, like – like those guys, when you're a veteran that's an all-time great level pass rusher, and and JJ Watts better than better than Suggs, um, but like, like you know those veteran moves. You're like, oh, they've got a rookie guard. Like I know how I can get them, and then you save that move, and you're like, okay, when we need that third down stop, and it's third and ten, I'm gonna hit them with it. Boom, you get to the quarterback. Terrell Suggs had that clutch gene. JJ Watt is incredibly clutch. And J.J. Watt is also a master of deflecting passes. Imagine him with Calais Campbell yep. jumping up and batting those balls down because Calais at 6'8 is a beast. And then obviously J.J. Watt, he's 6'5", and he's been known to – I mean, he did it last year. He got a tip pat. He tips it, picks it off, takes it to the house. If you were watching Thanksgiving Day football, you saw that happen. I believe it was against Detroit. But J.J.'s a beast. He has those veteran moves, and he's a lot of fun uh, to root for and watching plays hard nose Ravens football, and he can teach a thing or two to those other guys because J.J. is he's an all-time great, and he's got something that very few defensive linemen, edge rushers have ever had because he can play D-tackle. He can yeah. sub in and, and play inside and play with the big boys, stop the run. Um, if he can if he can be like, hey, you know, 
Jalen Ferguson, here's some tips. You know, that's something that like you're going to respond to. He's a leader on the defense, and getting that type of leader is always a benefit. Um, as long as it's not like some crazy long deal, but I would absolutely love bringing him in. Um, do you have anything else on JJ that you want to talk about, or do you think that's all set? Nah, I think that's just about it. I was, I was, I'll end it off with this. The more, the more veterans we have in that front four, the the better it makes uh, Patrick Queen and Malik Harris's life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, if you put if you put a JJ Watt and Calais combo together, especially with the tip passes and the way they do. They, they they control that 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 line. You can see Patrick Queen get that he he'll, he'll get that defensive player of the year award next year. <laughs> I can see it. He's I mean he will help everybody out, especially those young linebackers. Um, mm-hmm. But that, I think that's great. That'll do it for you know kind of this segment. We'll move on to the next segment. But thanks for listening to this segment. This watching this segment, all that stuff. Uh, we'll see you all uh, next time.